Hey guys, and welcome back to Bristow Daily Homes. Ryan here. Happy Friday to everybody. Um, wanted to share a quick little um, story with you guys. So, obviously, many of you are probably familiar with like Zillow and Trulia. Many people go there to search homes. Um, a lot of the time, it's not like the brand new information. It takes some time for it to load from MLS to the actual these third party sites. Um, which is pretty much what, one of the, the main uh, benefits of a site like Bristow Daily Homes is that we're giving you accurate, up-to-date information same day. So you're getting to see a lot of these listings before anybody else is getting their eyes on it. Uh, many agents aren't taking the time to update things unless it's through auto search. But I was actually um, looking on Truly and Zillow the other day, and there actually was a, a few questions from some people. Um, one of them was a guy that was looking for a house in the Bristow, Gainesville area and said that he was, you know, he was having trouble finding a home in the Bristow area and that he was looking to find a good realtor, but all the realtors that he'd been working for weren't doing a good job. And he goes on to note, and later on in, in the um, the message, that his price range was only 220000 okay, and that he wasn't getting phone calls back from his agent. They weren't able to see, thing, see houses for two to three days later. Um, those contracts were going through before they ever got to see the property. Uh, and I wanted to address this because, you know, typically real estate agents will say anything to get the client in. But the reality is you need to hear, you know, and, and, and get tough love because the reality is in Bristow to find anything townhouse wise under 220000 it just probably isn't going to happen. So the reality is that somebody should be telling you that, you know, Instead of looking in Bristow, you might have to look further west. You might have to go into Warrington or Catlett or even, you know, into maybe into Manassas. You're going to probably find an older home. But you're probably not going to find a townhouse for 220000 I saw about 10 to 15 different posts from real estate agents saying, you know, oh, I promise I'll take good care of you. Um, call me. We'll find you a house. You know, and the reality is, is that, you know, it's not necessarily the agent that's going to be able to take and find you that house. I mean, a lot of what we do, and, and from watching these daily videos, you get a good idea of what homes are priced like in Bristow. And it's important to stay up to date and to be able to educate yourself. And this is part of why I do these videos, is to give you guys and arm you guys with the information that you need to make an educated decision. Um, and it's just, you know, I want to tell people that using Zillow and sites like Trulia, instead of using a local site that's giving you local, up-to-date, timely information is critical. Um, so, you know, for those of you that are on the list, I really appreciate you, um, you know, and I would hope that, you know, you'd spread the word and forward our website, Bristow Daily Homes, to everybody that you know that's potentially looking in Bristow. We're growing at a very rapid pace. Um, we're, we've probably got about almost 500 people on our list, uh, and, and it's growing every day, and we really appreciate you guys and just hope that you'll spread, continue to spread the word. So we got three listings today to review. The first one is 9291 Falling Water Drive. It's located in Victory Lakes. It's a standard sale for $520,000. It sits on almost a third of an acre. It's got about 4,057 total square feet. 3,100 are on the above grade two levels. Five bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's got some stone and vinyl siding on the finishings on the outside. we got a two-car garage which is a side load, which as you see here, you're looking right in the front of the picture. You actually pull into the driveway and pull in um, at the side load garage there. This is a, a very nice house here. Um, we'll go through some of the pictures so you can see. Here's the backyard, nice and flat, which is always a plus. Victory Lakes is obviously one of the, the more desirable neighborhoods in, in all of Bristow. Looks like it's fenced in as well, which is nice. Here's a nice patio on the back side. Here's when you walk in, hardwood floors pretty much throughout. Nice cherry hardwood floors. Here's the family room, office. Here's the kitchen with cherry cabinets and stainless steel appliances. Looks nice. Uh, pretty neutral paint throughout. So really, it's move-in ready. Not much to do here. Here's the master bedroom and bathroom. The finished basement looks like it's about 1,000 total square feet down there. Here you can see here's the finished basement area. So overall, price of five hundred twenty thousand for you know roughly four thousand square feet. I think that this is price nice. I think that it's probably not going to have any problem getting a contract relatively quick, um, especially for a five bedroom, three and a half bath. I like the lot size, uh, especially with a flat yard. Um, I know that a lot of people uh, don't 
some people like silo garages, some people don't. Um, but I actually like the floor plan of this house, and I think that at 520000 I think it's going to move relatively quick. I um, wouldn't be surprised if it's, if it's gone by the weekend, actually. So definitely something to keep our eye on. 10111 Orland Stone Drive is actually a detached colonial. This is a courtyard style home, so um, the lot is very tiny. It's 0.073. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It's a standard sale at 385,000. Uh, we got about 3,700 total square feet, 2,300 on the main two levels, when about another 1,400 finished in the basement. Two car garage. For those of you not familiar with these courtyard style homes, they actually, you know, it's like a, a little pipe stem. So you pull into this driveway and it's a shared driveway with probably, you know, three or four or five houses within that little pipe stem. So it, it almost gives you a, a feel of, of um, I almost want to say like a townhouse because there's, the lots are so small. You're not connected to somebody else, but they're just very small. Now, the square footage on the inside is great. If you're looking for a home that's little to no maintenance because your yard's obviously tiny on the outside, uh, then this might be a good option for you. Looks like your standard uh, builder grade oak cabinets, white appliances on the inside. Does look very clean. If you want to swap out white appliances, obviously that's something easy to do. You could probably get a stainless steel set, all, all included for about $1,500. Bucks. Pretty neutral paint throughout. Nothing that really blows you away. There's another property that is under contract that was a, a former model home at $399, and it had fantastic finishings. I don't know if the finishings in this house match up to that one. Um, so $385, I don't know. It might be a little on the high side, especially considering this is a courtyard-style home and not an actual detached with a bigger yard. Uh, but but not, not bad overall. 10037 Hume Court in Braemar. And uh, sorry, I forgot to mention that this home is located in the Braemar subdivision as well. Hume Court's also located in Braemar. This is a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, so it's a detached but only three bedrooms. It's got just a little over an eighth of an acre for 349500 It was built in 2000. 1,706 square feet. It does say it has a basement and it's full, but it doesn't say if it's actually a finished basement, so I'm a little stumped and there's no pictures to actually go off of right here. Uh, there has been homes that have been in the similar square footage that have sold for three fifty, so I think it's priced right. No pictures to look at as of right now, but it says that it does have forty two inch cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and granite countertops, which is obviously nice. Looks like it's been updated. Um, so I, I would definitely ch check this out. I mean, obviously townhouses are in that three hundred range, and then the brand new townhomes are much larger, probably you know up to twenty six hundred square feet, or up into the high threes. But good option. This has a um, should have a two-car garage. Maybe this one doesn't. This one looks like it's just off-street parking. So this one doesn't have a garage. The other one did. So that's probably going to be more of a, a sticking point for somebody that's looking to buy. They prefer to have a garage with this detached home. Um, but with all that being said, 350000 in Bristow, in Braemar, hard to find. So definitely, I think you should check this one out if you're in that price range. That's all we got for today, guys. If you'd like to view any of the properties that we reviewed today, Go to bristowdailyhomes.com. Uh, you can contact us there. Also, you can reach out 703-596-0011 to set up an appointment with my assistant. We'd be glad to uh, give you a tour of all of Bristow if you're unfamiliar with the area and just want to get acclimated to what's out there, show you the different shopping centers and subdivisions so that you can you know, uh, really find your way around here. That's, that's what our job is, is to educate you on the Bristow area. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, and we'll update a video over the weekend if there's a bunch of listings that come on. If not, we'll talk to you again on Monday. Take care.